I remember being asked, as all children are at that age, what do you want to be when you grow up? And of all the cacophony of vocations, astronaut, firefighter, cowboy, doctor, the only thing that made sense was the one that probably didn't make any dollars. I said I wanted to be a good father. And the teacher smiled. That is so adorable, but I don't think you understood the question. And chalking it up to childhood ignorance, walked up to the chalkboard and wrote, what job, double underline, do you want? I grunted. Mine's the most important job I've heard all day. What the fuck does my job have to do with what I want to be? She jolted, surprised at the thunderclouds beneath my eyebrows and the venom in my voice. She had no choice but to put me on timeout to think about what I'd done. Well, I'd still prefer to have a job rather than be one. And the thought of a son is only slightly more enticing than a daughter because with a son, I only got to worry about one penis. And that's only if he's straight. Now, for those of you who may be concerned, I don't have any kids. I'm not expecting them anytime soon, but sometimes I envision their rooms in my head of tucking them into bed and singing them to sleep like my father did for me, passing on the lessons that I learned from him that anger will make you strong. But love will make you powerful. Family is the foundation on which all strong homes are built and that wilting beneath the weight of your tear ducts is the true measure of a good man. So don't spend the saline solution frivolously. Not when it can sterilize a tattered spirit for it to begin the healing process. And that's your name means something. It's your imagination is the greatest toy and strongest weapon you will ever possess and that it's one of a kind. In a technological age where there's a perfectly logical explanation for everything, I will teach them to dream. For what destitute times we must be living in when children are so world weary they cannot even believe in magic. I will teach them to make lightning dance beneath their fingertips, to sing with sea creatures and call the many winds by their first names, that there are many shades of good and evil, but you got to be one of the good guys. There are so many of the bad ones running loose. And when I'm shaken loose from this mortal coil, be brief in your morning. I will be in the rise and fall of your chest as you breathe in the sunrise. I will be the eyes looking back at you from the mirror and always remember that daddy loves you. And if anybody's ever stupid enough to ask, is your father dead? You hold your head up high and you say, no, he isn't because he lives in me. I don't have any kids. I'm not expecting them anytime soon, but I am excited to meet them. <laughs>